Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist, and earlier today I updated my Geometry Node assets to version 12, um, and my Geometry Node assets are all of these modifiers for Blender to do a bunch of different things from building buildings to stuff with curves and all sorts of stuff. The update was mostly focused on fixing things and adding little features to uh, existing modifiers, but there is one new node that's very cool and I want to show and talk about uh, what it can do and that is the set position plus UVs node and this one definitely is more of a node than a modifier um, so it's intended to be dropped into your setups that you're using the node functions exactly like the set position node um, you can see that the avian look identical they have all the same options the difference is that set position plus UVs has a UV map name that you can assign to it and if you do that then what the node does is it functions exactly like editing the mesh in edit mode if you turn on the correct face attributes so that the UVs are adjusted as you edit the mesh. So, so if we were to select this face over here and pull it out, you can see that rather than stretching, which is what happens with the set position node, or if you edit with correct face attributes off, then the texture gets extended, which means it's actually editing the UV map behind the scenes. So set position plus UVs, does exactly that but as a node so we could set the position here to be the position and we could scale it and you'll see that the texture size will stay the same as we increase the scale and it should work generally for anything that you want to do with set position so we could rotate instead we could do a vector rotate so if we rotate this then now rotating does get wonky because it'll rotate out of the view that or the tangent space that already existed so just be careful of that but um, in this case since we're rotating around the z-axis anything that's on the z-axis will be perfectly fine but here you can see the x-axis is going to get stretched if we rotate it at 90 we'd lose the texture on the sides but um, that's exactly the same as if you were to do it with correct face attributes on if we were to rotate this you can see the same thing happen so anyway so that's the new node set position plus UVs, it's intended to be used in your own node setups rather than as a modifier, but it's very cool because it gives a sort of an automatic way of fixing a lot of the UV problems you have. That node has been integrated into a bunch of the other nodes or modifiers that I had before. So if you were to use a build walls, so here I've made a simple setup using build walls. Um, previously, there is this limitation where on your wall template object, your UVs all had to align to either the X or the Y axis, or the U or the V axis, rather, of the UV maps. That's no longer the case. You can now rotate your UVs any random direction you want, and you should be able to extend the walls out, and it will correct the UVs, um, removing that limitation. That means that the option for the UV axis XY is gone, because we don't need it anymore, and that update has been applied to all of the nodes it was relevant for. So all of the array modifiers got that update. Um, the deform resize got some changes. So I'll show that as well. Deform resize got a cool option. Um, so if we check adjust UVs, then it will be using the set position plus UVs internally. Deform resize also got a, a, some additional options. Um, so if we were to come in here and add some loop cuts. So I've just got a setup here where we have a deform resize. Previously, the way deform resize work was it would divide the mesh into two parts, and by default, I'm you know, using this cutoff value, which by default is 0.5, so it would divide it directly down the middle. But you could also set it to like 0.2, which would put the line, the division over here, and everything on this side would get moved over here, um, would get moved when you resize the wall. So you can see that's how this works here. Because we've set it to 0.2, all of the loops in the middle got moved over and if we move where that point is to the other end then only the outside edge gets moved etc there's a new option there's two new options how you can have it work the first is thirds that will divide the wall into three parts so if you set your cutoff to 0.5 it'll move halfway to the middle here and halfway to the middle here and those will be the two sections then it'll move the middle part halfway half of the distance to the whatever the new size is and it'll move the end 100 percent of the distance to the other to whatever it needs to fit the size you're trying to make so that keeps the middle in the middle essentially and then the other option is scaled which um will correct the uvs and everything but anything in the middle if it's 
a third of the way through the middle, it'll get moved a third of the way to the new distance, whatever the new size of the wall should be. Um, so that just gives some additional options for how you can use deform resize. There was also some additional changes to the UV map settings. If you use the automatic, um, the triplanar or the planar UV maps, um, they now have options so you can choose where the origin is based off of. So it can either be based off the object's origin, which is the orange dot, can be based off of the world origin, which is zero, zero here, or it can be based off of islands, which is how it was before, and then each individual um, mesh will have its center calculated. So that's a new option, and then you can also set a custom origin. If you set it to object, you could like add an empty, and then you could have multiple objects share the same texture space um, if you wanted textures to blend perfectly or something. Anyway, I just wanted to show the set position plus UVs node primarily because that was a cool new feature and just give everyone a little update on the changes. Um, if you previously purchased my Geometry Node assets, the update's available right now on both Gumroad and Blender Market. And if you haven't purchased my Geometry Node assets but are interested, um, you'll gain access to all of these tools for doing a bunch of different things. The key concept that I try to build into all of my Geometry Node assets is to make them modular where you can a bunch of them can be stacked together on a single object so that you have a simple mesh that you're editing but the result that you get is you know, complicated or um, interesting uh, built procedurally but with a lot of options and flexibility for how you do that because all of the steps can be stacked on top of each other in different orders and customized. So. If you're interested in that, check out some of the other videos on my channel. Um, the How to Use series is good if you're just curious to see what some of them can do. And um, I also have longer videos talking about how a bunch of the different modifiers work. Anyway, there's links in the description for uh, my Discord server, which you're welcome to join. Um, a lot of the bugs that were fixed and stuff were things that people caught and reported on there. There's, um, I also have a website where I have details about all of the tools that I've made for Blender and other things. And then there's also links to purchase my Geometry Node assets from Blender Market or Gumroad if you are interested in that. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.